What the hell did you bring me over here for? I just wanted to check out your guest house and let you know that last night, Scott called me at like two in the morning. Okay. Which he never calls me late at night, ever. And he was just like ranting, like, what are we doing in life? What are you doing? What am I doing? And I'll go, but what are you doing? And then, or then he'll say, but what are you doing? Is it any better? Is like, what are you doing? And then- We got it, 2 a.m.? 2 a.m. And then by the end of the conversation, I just was like, I have a boyfriend and he's 24 years old. It's not the craziest thing that's ever happened in the world. And so he was like, he's your boyfriend? And then that he- was a trigger, of And course. then he hung up the phone. Stop. Yeah. And did you call him back? No. I went to you bed. You just let it go? I just went to bed. Wow. Cut the cord. And so what? Look at that monkey down there. What is he gonna do with that? It's, it's a soft teething toy. Yeah, he doesn't like stuff like that. Oh, how do you know what he likes? Mom, I, know I know what, what, he, what likes. he likes. I know what he likes. He likes, <gasps> He has the huge giraffe. It's oh, I have to times. get this. This, I need this. <gasps> Courtney, we what? could get this. Oh my God. And Mom, no. He, what is he gonna do this with that? This is fabulous, and we'll get this. No. Okay, we'll get this. What I is he gonna it. do with those? This is great. No. Oh my God, it's twins. This is amazing. It's, it's twins. It's twins. It's twins. Courtney, we could get two. Look, they're kissing cousins. Mwah. No. Mwah. See how much fun we can have? Come on, have some fun with me. You're no fun. You don't know how to like loosen up and have a good time. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Miss Scrooge, let's go home. Okay. You are crazy. I know. Oh, watch out, you're gonna literally knock me over. Okay. There's no way that we can all fit in the car and the giraffe is not staying behind. So. Okay, Courtney, now there's room for everyone. Put the giraffe in the back seat. We'll sit him up so he has a good view. Okay. Put that right there real gently. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Hi. Here we go. The best shopping trip ever. Hey, doll. I want to come back with you because my sisters ditched me and I feel like you and I would just have a better time. It's just rude of them to go see the sunset without me. I really just wanted to spend time with my sisters on this trip and Chloe and Kim are being so inconsiderate. Kim and Chloe, like they were really excited to go. Horseback riding, which is fine. I just hate waiting. The perfect disease. I don't think they know just how much I need. Yes, love Hi. That was so good. Thank you. Did you get nervous like, when you perform? I would like die. It's, it's it's embarrassing. I was trying to look away from you. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Wait. So who's the, your um, boyfriend? Actually, I met him here in Miami, and he does live in New York. Fun. So how so are you? Tell me, good. tell me, as a baby. He's so good. He's amazing. And then, um, I don't know, everything's good with Scott, but um, since like I got pregnant and stuff, I feel like he feels like it's really like comfortable. We went to this polo match. I went and got like a lesson. It, so this guy was like flirting me, like they hold their hand over yours, like to, you know, swing the thing. And Scott and, was there? Yeah, and I was like, he just like had no care in the world. I think it's because like, he knows like you're not gonna do anything. Right, and I'm not gonna do anything, but I feel like he needs to like be on his toes a little bit more. The only times he's ever gotten jealous is like, is more like with girlfriends. Like when he knew that I was hanging out with you, he just was like jealous. He's like gone today all day. And when he gets back, I feel like it's funny if you're there, so. Well, yeah, I'll come over. I want to meet the baby anyways. Yeah. I guess I'll, I'll hope you make him a little jealous. You know what my new thing is going to be? Mm. The 
after watching the movie The Vow, mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna like only be in like something if it's fun and has that new feeling. The second it starts to dwindle, I'm out. You're like not good at that though. So that's my new dating motto. I wish Chloe was here. This is like what we all did together back in the day. No, back in the day. I found the spot for Dash, and I said I was gonna open a store. It's all Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. It's all you. Should we have a plaque at the window of the store that says Dash by Courtney Kardashian? Mm -hmm. Employees, Kim and Chloe. You're not employees, you don't do anything for the store. All for one and one for all. Okay, shall we? Okay. I think I'm gonna retire my cookie jars. Are you? Yeah, I don't like that everyone has them now. Oh, horrendous. Get rid of them. I mean, in how many years have we had those? Like, I've had them since Asher's was when I first yeah, had them. We can get rid of them. Or, yeah. So we discovered that there was cash missing from your wallet. So I don't know if you spent it out the other night. Um, I specifically handed 20 bucks to the valet and I had hundreds and I threw them back into my bag. Okay, because the hundred, there's no hundreds there right now. Is there any chance you could have lost the money? Like, do you think it fell or? It was definitely there. You know when you just know? Like, yeah. I know for a fact. That's crazy, I don't know. The fact that money is missing from my wallet definitely doesn't feel like a coincidence. We had an iPad missing in the house too. You guys, I cannot find my iPad. It could just be buried under somewhere. Yeah, they're clearly not in here. You know, I have people in and out of my house all day, people that I trust. Something just isn't right. Everyone, do you want to take a guess? Who wants to take yeah, a guess four, at ten. Courtney's height? 4'11". Courtney, come here. 5'1 and some centimeters. Wait, don't I need to stand against the wall? Yeah, but you have to no, take a menu and put it on top of her head. Make sure that's right on the floor there, Chloe. Right. But you got to deduct the menu. 5'1 and 5'2". Five, five feet. Is it, is it straight? No, stop. <laughs> Chloe, it's, I don't know if it's straight against the wall, is it? Okay, so here. Well, yell it out. Oh, it's yeah. slanted at the bottom. <laughs> don't try to make her taller. Wait. I think you're 5'1", I think I am 5'1". It says 5'1". No way! Oh, wow. oh my god! You're such a big girl! Oh, last six time lambs, we're going the lights! Last time I measured myself, it said 5'1". I, I can't five believe one. that you're 5'1". Yeah, guys, five I grew. Oh, oh yeah, five, yeah! Eight. Update my Wikipedia page. You guys, she's 5'1". I five. don't understand this. That's crazy. I'm calling from the front desk and I want to send a chicken that Jackie was here. Okay, she can come up. Thank you. Whoop, whoop. I have no idea how you do that. Oh, look how nervous she is. I am fine. I don't think you are. I don't think you are. I've never seen She's you act so weird. She's showing her camel toe in that jumper, too. Am I? <laughs> Not fully. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So where are we going tonight? Nikki Beach. Nikki. Is Nikki Beach a club or like an actual beach? Jackie is totally trying to make my sister switch teams and looking at her, who knows, maybe she wants to get traded. Jackie is carefree and fun. She just kind of like gets you and like has this like spell almost. So I've been dolling to so see how was no, yours. No, first, I need to no, hear yours first. No, Courtney, come on. Just tell me about yours. You went first, so tell me. He makes me cut my hair. So I had to cut off a piece of my real hair, put it in a bowl. So then he pulls my toes so hard. I almost was like, dude, you gotta stop. Like, this isn't normal. Mine, I walked in there, I was so excited. 
sit down, he lifted up my pants, took a straw and sucked out stuff from my knee and he spit it into a bowl. And he splashes water all on my face like this and I'm just like, he was literally picking up my kneecap through my skin. Mm. I was like, ow, oh, okay, okay. It was, he's a very strong little man. What was your experience? Scott came in and the guy was basically saying that in a past life that we were together and that we're soulmates. So he was <gasps> like, you have to decide if you want to be together or not be together. Wait, what? what? I'm surprised from Courtney's recap because Kim and I literally got nothing emotionally from our reading. They've got such deep information. You like, didn't even why want did that this. to us? Yeah. We wanted it and we didn't even get that. Yeah. Will this be done today or do you think tomorrow? Um, Just the out of curiosity. Will be done today. Oh, good. I'll work on the shower and then he'll work on the tub. Oh, okay. Okay. Exciting. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. What's up, Ma? What's up? Would you stay here with me? No. This? While I go to this antique store for my, with my mom. I gotta get out of here. Why? Because I have things to do. It's a couple hours. That sounds like a couple hours too much. Well, I don't want to sit here all day and I need to get stuff. I know, I just got a lot of work I gotta take care of and there's a bunch of things at the restaurant I need to take care of. I mean, you're gonna need to learn to be a little bit more helpful. I'm not helpful? No. I don't know what you want from me, doll. A long time ago, you said you wanted a man in your life that could take care of things and work and own businesses. I went out of my way to do that, and now all of a sudden you think I should be able to drop never all that. You said own businesses. Yes, you did. You said be a man for me. You're always going to have an excuse. And they'll always be the right kinds. I am working too. I get that. I have things going on. I'm sure. So I need some help from you. I don't think you're wrong. Just not today. Not any day. You gotta start helping out. Hey. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Of course. To New York. Yeah. Um, okay, maybe we'll sit over here. Okay. So what's been happening with you since we uh, last talked? Um, being in New York, it's just like a way more hectic. Okay like lifestyle than sure. being at home. Scott and I got into a fight like when uh, we first got here. Right. Like whenever I feel like a hard time or like something really anxious, like when my dad passed away, like I literally couldn't swallow because yeah. my throat uh -huh. felt like it was closed. Do you have any pain or any physical, your back tight or anything? How's your neck? I think all that's good. good. Just a little bit of the throat stuff? Yeah. And then my yeah. dad died of esophageal cancer, which right. is like in your throat, and then sure. my dad and I were a lot alike in the sense of like, we don't communicate that yeah. well. Sure, it's, it's interesting kind of how sometimes we have empathic connections with family members, like mm -hmm. we'll, we even take on some other stuff. So the feel bad is stored in the body. So whenever we go through an intense experience, we form a belief about ourself, life, uh, other people, and this affects us for the rest of our life. But as you cleared the physical memory in the body, all of a sudden the, the mind calmed down. Well, let's handle the rest of the throat stuff okay. if we can. Well, I'm gonna help you handle it. Okay. You know. So what's the zero to 10 of the sensation there, the, the block in the throat right now? What does it feel like? Maybe like a four. Four, that's significant. So if you wanna just close your eyes for a moment, so just breathe into that sensation in the throat. Just normal, easy breathing into that pressure, attention in the throat. Just letting go of the story. And just notice the faint idea or image, memory, whatever comes to you in your mind's eye, just notice what's that. Does that feel like an intense situation? Like somewhat. Yeah. Okay. We'll just see if we can bring it up a little bit or kind of amplify it by thinking of current situations like with Scott or anybody else or just feeling like... Even just when you said Scott, okay, it, brought it, it back like a made it Good. annoying. Notice what are you saying to yourself when you, when you feel the most stress in that situation at that time? And tell me I what is... I think just yeah. like being mean and I don't know why. Uh huh. So what are you saying to yourself as you realize how mean you're being? Why am I acting that way? Yeah, and as you realize, why are you acting that way? Take a breath and let it go. Good, take another deep, deep breath all the way in. Hold the breath as long as you can, really go there. It's crazy when you feel, when you take the deep breath, like yeah. how intense, yeah. is that like, is that supposed to? It's really, no yeah, it's normal. You could do this on your own too. This is like a really, you know, if you're feeling stressed out or whatever, you can get to the root. Yeah. I don't know of anything that's more effective. I really don't. And I've, I've studied around the world for 25 years. Well, thank you. Yeah, of course. If, and I'll, I'll be in town till, uh, t 
tomorrow night. Okay. You're awesome. Thank you. Good to see you. See Thanks you. for coming. Of course. Let me see if Scott wants to say hi. Teflon. Courtney, I like Teflon. Is that coming off? Well, it's not coming off. Yeah, it's really bad. I forgot how much I missed you coming over. Court, are you serious? I don't want to be in your video game. I got it. You're not going to be in it. It's ridiculous for you to just not do that for me as a favor, because I've done so much for you. And for Scott to call me and say, you should buy her a pair of shoes. I don't to put need her a pair of shoes in the game. I can buy my own and I'm shoes. Like, buy her a pair of shoes, all the shit I've done for her. I said to Scott, I, I'm not buying a pair of shoes, I bought her a career. Courtney should do this for me as a favor, but she's like, I don't need a video game character. What will this do for me? Sometimes it's not about what it'll do for you. I mean, the game is supposed to mirror my real life, so I think it's fun to include all my family in that. I don't know why she's being so stubborn. It's just lame to not do me a favor. Like, I bend over backwards and do business deals for the benefit of you guys when I've had my own deals, and I'm not gonna be bending over backwards if I feel like people aren't gonna do me favors. You never asked as a favor, never once. So if you presented it as a favor and said, do you wanna do me a favor? And will you guys please do I this for me? Asked. I Did she asked. ask like that? You didn't, we were in our Kardashian kids meeting. It's so lame that like everyone else wants to be in it. The only reason you didn't is if I didn't pay you. I don't want the money. I don't have to do anything. But you're contradicting yourself because before you said you just wanted to be paid. I don't care to do random things. You, you don't have to do one thing. But I don't care to do more than I'm doing. Oh, you're too overexposed. I don't want to be in it. We all do each other family favors. That's just what we do. That's who we are. So I just think of your character. It's pretty <laughs> You're like such a joke. People want different things in life. Having a baby shower is a way for everybody to celebrate with you and making memories that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Who is that, Mom? Yeah. I'm gonna come and we're gonna undo this. Where are you? I got one in the elevation. So I'm coming by. Where is my nosy family at? She's um, nosy. I didn't do that. Yeah, what? what? That's not called being nosy. But what would literally, if I said I don't want a registry, why are you trying to plan it? Because we love you. My family is being so controlling, and this is my life. Like, I need to take control and do what I want to do, whether they like it or not, and I don't want to have a baby shower. Because you love me, respect my wish, and I'm not having a baby shower. It's like that simple. Can you put his shirt on and come out? No, I, I don't want to come out. No, we need to come, you need to come out here. Why? I feel this urgency to wake Bruce up and tell him exactly what happened tonight because I feel like it's unfair to him to let one more minute go by and he not know exactly how I feel. Honestly, I have had a revelation. Cut out. I, I, okay, it, it, obviously this isn't easy. So tonight was the night that I had to meet up with Todd again. Explain to me why you saw this ass. I wanted to tell you that tonight I realized I really appreciate you a lot more. I may have been fantasizing about somebody for the last 23 years that didn't really deserve that kind of recognition. She's showering me with all these great, lovely things, but she went behind my back. I, I, I'm not excited about this, that's for sure. What an idiot you are. I don't even know how I can trust you. I can't believe you did this. No, this is a good thing. This is like good news. Well, I know, but this, this is definitely not the reaction that I thought I would get. Just trying to tell him how much I appreciate him.
Wait, so mom is like fuming with you. Wait, yeah. why? She was texting me with hashtag. She was hashtag disloyal. Hashtag. And I said, please don't text me with hashtags. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. She thinks you're a traitor and she thinks that you <laughs> went against the family. With Caitlin, she's pissed. You wanna call her? Yeah. I cannot believe this. She's pissed. She was like really upset. What are you doing? Mom, it's Chloe. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Wait, why are you pissed off at me? Hashtag pissed. Oh, hashtag disloyal. Kim, what? you are a f traitor. That you would have the nerve to go to help Caitlin to pick a gown? Like, what is going on? She said, a fashion really? emergency, I have nothing to wear. Okay, here's the problem. Why do you need to show up to help but last time I heard, you guys are all good. That's what you don't get. I don't say anything to you until I feel abandoned. And that right now I'm feeling abandoned. Mom, I would never abandon you if I even knew that but you, you really thought- you abandoned me. You've taken somebody else and said, okay, her feelings don't matter. Everything I, that- I truly you know didn't what? think I that you would care. You. I'm just gonna try to stay neutral and not get involved. I don't want you to be neutral from my children that I gave birth to. I want loyalty. I don't want neutral. Oh, she's really upset. Neutral isn't what I signed up for. That's what you don't get. I'm trying to be as gracious as I can. I'm trying to be as understanding as I can. I'm betrayed. I've been over on so many levels that your head would spin. Okay, no, Mom. I'm I... not going to play this game anymore, okay? Oh, you look so pretty. Thank you, sweetie. My mom has obviously heard from both Malika and myself that we got in a fight, and she asked if she could take us both to dinner. I just wanted to get you guys together. You know, I have concerns, but I think if everyone makes an effort, it will be fine. It's not gonna be snap of the finger, but it's something I think you both should acknowledge and work on. I feel like I've been sitting in a seat for the last four days, like, how did that, that happen? Yeah. Obviously, I see things from my side, but I don't get how a conscious decision that I made for myself became something so negative and so punishing to you. The idea being brought to us to even do the shoot, I should have just said no. I had too many negatives versus the positives. I should have just said no. But it instead of doing that, I tried to weigh it because it was something she wanted to do. And in turn, I felt too uncomfortable. The bottom line is I'm not, and I was never trying to pick rather you did or didn't do the nude shoot. My issue has mostly been with how you handle things. And your approach to things when it comes to business are not how do I make it work, but how do I get out of it. I don't okay, care well, about I think all the that. concern. So, okay, that's not, you're that's not even listening to my point. My commitment said I am going to go full throttle in the direction of trying to get our career back on a certain path and doing certain things. My expectations of that need to be far less because it's not realistic. I was uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I, I, but it affects everybody else, but well, you don't pay attention way. to that. I'm a human. I'm not gonna apologize for the fact that I found comfort in going, you know what, it's not okay for me. Your commitment is always 10 times stronger to everything else than it's ever been for us work-wise. Blackberry, but it's broken. I wanted a number out of there. Whose phone number anyone I would know? No. 
I need a Lamar's number, but I only have it in there. Why do you need Lamar's number? So I could check on him. I haven't had my Blackberry all week since I've been here because it's broken, and I wanted to make sure he's okay. Can't I do that? You just deserve so much better. Lamar and I loved each other deeply, and I don't believe in just acting like that relationship never existed. Things happened, but that doesn't just stop me from caring about him or loving him. So if I feel the need to check on Lamar, that's my prerogative and I'm gonna do it. I'm still, no matter what, but his friend, and I care to see if he's alive for the day. I can't do that. I don't ever come at you about all your trifling you used to do until you got married. So take a chill pill, Slore. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you mad at me for something? Wait, hon, is this why you haven't been home? Because you're mad at me? Yeah. Ever since you haven't been hanging out with Ryan and Derek and like all your bro friends, like, I just feel like you're like clinging on to Shalom. You guys are texting and laughing and like there's boundaries. D, you have to understand Shalom is not at all somebody that I'd like try and go after, especially because he's your boyfriend. You drink and in Miami, you made out with Ryan's best friend. You guys were all there and you saw how it happened. It's not like I'm like out like trying to hook up with every guy that's there. Then why do you guys like hang out so much without me? I mean, it's not like I like call Shalom every day and like, hey, you wanna hang out? Yeah, it's it not... is. It's like both no, of it's you not are like that. When? Every day at the freaking porch. You guys we, are always we hanging hang out. out. When I come home, you guys What do you want me to do? I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, like, it's obvious how much Shalom loves you and like, the only reason he's at the house is because he's waiting for you to get off of work or like waiting for you to come home or waiting for your lunch break. I'm actually like a little bit hurt that you'd think that way because I would never ever do that. And like I feel like as close as we are, you should know that. For some reason you do not give mom the benefit of the doubt ever from your childhood and it's really unfair. You only remember with Todd or this or that. But I don't sit there and dwell about Todd. No, we're not saying that. But you have your own Todd right now. No, right. I actually don't. I'm actually not married. All right, but and I'm not having an affair. Oh. You can't compare one to the other. That's absolutely not true. I don't think it's even about talking to my mom about it. I think it's like we all have different experiences with my mom. And I think it's not something really that my mom can fix. I'm just saying sometimes our memories get a little warped by our age. Yeah. I'm just saying, but don't be so hard on your mom. Oh, yes, Gina! You looked so cute when you wore that baseball hat and that red jacket. You look like a down ass bitch. <laughs> 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 Mom's so f***ing annoying. I walk in and my room is empty. What do you mean? All the furniture has been moved out. But what? why is your stuff out? Because she gave it to Rob. And I was like, um, excuse me? Are you going to tell me that you've emptied out my room? And Kanye walks in and goes, OK, it's very clear she wants us to leave. I know we have lived with my mom way too long. I totally get it. But I have six weeks left until we are going to move into our house. And she pretty much kicked our daughter out of her room. She could have waited a few more weeks. So it's the furniture that was in your bedroom. Yeah. She claims that was his furniture. That's not true. No. She just lies and lies and lies. Own up. Like, let's just be honest about what you're doing. I know. He's funny. He's very confident. I just, I mean, I'm not an actor, and I've, like, I've took very small try, tries at it. It's not my thing. You have to desire to be an actor. Right, and I don't. And, and then do the work. Like, I, I he don't. desires it, I just don't know that he's gonna do the work. But through experience, I think he'll pretty much figure out, even if it's not booking a job. If he gets in an acting class, he might decide he doesn't want to do this. Like, if he can't do it in front of a bunch of people, how's he gonna audition to get a job? Oh, when I did Law & Order, it was like, oh, traumatizing. I was like, you know what? Let's stick to me doing my commercials that I barely have to talk. I'm just gonna have sweet potato fries. Do I want a mixed balsamic goat cheese salad or a roasted beet salad? Mixed balsamic. I'm gonna start packing soon for Thailand. I think Rob is still coming, but you know, he always bails the last minute. I just think 
that this trip is like really important for him. I just feel like he needs to be around the family. I think so too. But when people are in like a rut, like you see how things could be good for them, but he doesn't see that. I don't know that I would be thinking, oh, let me go take a vacation. So, True. Are you talking to him? Like, yeah, I live with him, but I don't know. Like, everyone asks me, where is he? What's he doing? What does he do all day? Like, I just feel like my mom is constantly on my back about him. He doesn't listen to her. That's she so needs weird. you to help her with him. And, and I'm fine doing it, but then get off my case about it. Like, let me do it my way. The reason why everyone asks you how Rob is doing, it's because he responds to you differently. It's actually better than the way he responds to anyone else. I love him, and I don't, I don't mind being responsible. Responsible, but sometimes I'm like, I don't f-ing know where he is. It's the price you pay for being so strong. You might have to look out for the guy a little bit more. Put like a chip in him and be like, here, mom, track it on the computer. Like what they do to dogs. Yeah, well, that's not going to work. Good luck with that. I'm happy I'm here. I'm going to be like I'm four so days. Excited. And then I gotta get back. So I'm going to make some plans. Okay. I'll and I'll back. make some reservations. Okay. I mean, I feel bad. It's, like, cool if you hang out with him, but... About what? I don't know. I mean, he definitely has, like, a lot of friends that I'm sure he wants to see in L.A. He wants to hang out with you. And if you don't want to hang out with him, I'll hang out with him. I don't have anything else to do this week. It's, like, a nice distraction. All my work is done. I have, like, a couple-day break coming up this weekend. I have absolutely no plans. I do want to spend time with him, so just don't, like, hog my friend the whole time. I'll bring him back, don't worry. All my friends are here, and I'm so excited that they all came out, but I want just, like, a calm, relaxing lunch by the pool. Kim's turning 30, everyone! (laughs) Kim, is there anything you want for your birthday? I know, I I I swear. I just feel like... I don't know, I feel old. You are not old. I'm not old. old. I can't seem to like shake this feeling of turning 30. I just keep on thinking in my head like the countdown, like you're turning 30, like it's tomorrow. Every time I get older, like I look better. (laughs) Kim thinks by the time the clock strikes midnight on her 30th birthday, she's gonna turn into a little old troll in a cave. Everyone, let's get up. No, you guys are ridiculous. Hands around Kim. Wait, we can do These shoes in the woods? I feel like I'm back in the Everglades with Chloe. Oh my God, remember that? Ah! Remember, do not go down here. Ah! <laughs> I do not know where this plot of land is. The guy sent me a picture, but basically we're like in the middle of the woods. Right. Ah. Ooh, look his Hello? plot of land. I think John Gotti picked this plot of land. Are you <laughs> kidding me? How big is it supposed to be? Balls, I'm Is it like get one foot by one foot? It's pr- literally, I think he has one inch by one inch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show him. Oh, it's That stinks. is his square of land. It's like the area where I buried like my goldfish in my backyard. Oh my God, this is the, take a picture. The Lord of. Lord of the sh- Lord of the crapper. That's pretty proper. It's proper. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now that Kitty and I have decided that we're going to work on our portfolio, I'm really excited. There's so much for us to do, and I'm looking forward to all the things that are coming up. Uh, Bobby McRae's not phone. picking up the phone. If you call your house, does he answer your house phone? Not really. Jesus, do you know what I would do? With what? Just die. For what? I mean, you guys have like a real baby factory over there. It's Tell like, Celine it. needs to eat at 8. Christian needs to be picked up from school at 10. And all <laughs> the next one needs to be picked up at 2 o'clock. Even I can't even pick up my <laughs> from the dry cleaners on time. For the last couple of years, it was really important to me to stay home and know what it was like to raise my kids. But I just 
felt the calling and I always knew I was gonna get back to our first love and our first love is acting. We had a long hiatus, it, now it's time to work. No, nothing has ever made me happier than working. Okay. Because that's all I've ever known. But what matters to me now is that I have her back. She's she never go? gone anywhere. Oh, yeah. she left me. But you okay. did. Okay. How are you gonna balance work and everything we're trying to do that's now? Why there's nannies and babysitters and grandmas and and you're gonna it's be possible. and you're gonna be fine with that? Uh, probably not all the time. Khadija and I never really quite had a conversation about not working together again when she decided to stop. I'm just not sure like how much she really, really wants this. My only responsibility is my work and I take it very seriously. And I just don't know if she can apply that same commitment to work as she does to family. You know we need to start thinking about costumes for Halloween, now that we're going to Canada together. What is our deal? So we fly there on Halloween. I figure we'll get up there, check in, get ready. Malika's got to get dressed up, I guess, as well, right? She's not into getting dressed up. I've been and trying so to... she says. And are you dressing up? Because I need to figure that out now. I don't know. we got to think of something. I mean, I've been to a Halloween party once where I didn't get dressed up, and I felt like an idiot. For girls, it's easy. You just look slutty. No, I don't like looking slutty. I look slutty 364 days out of the year. Just be something easy. I'll probably be like a cat or something because I have those outfits. I could be a priest. I always like that. If that makes you horny, go ahead. I hope it doesn't make me horny because then I'll legitimately be a real priest. What else? Batman would be cool. I just don't know if I'm like, why don't I just wear a suit and say I'm Bruce Wayne? You can. You could write the name tag, hello, yeah. my name is hello. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> He was built. Yeah, I'm gonna start working out never. Yeah, he all was those, built. I'll just airbrush those. Good morning. Do you hate me? Hey. You're okay. <laughs> Do you hate me? Never. <laughs> I have to say, I had the best time last night, so I am being Not responsible. For being incredibly emotional and inebriated and not using my better judgment and being a complete piece of shit to you because I love you so much. I'm really sorry. We well, you can you. go say that to Chloe. You were being that same person to Chloe. I was mean to her too? Yeah. God, you and, really do and, give it to the people you love. And it's love. true. Just don't say it loud. If her head hurts, like she's having like one of her migraines. Just go in there by yourself and say, I'm sorry you're hurting. I love you. Thank you so much. I feel so awful having pressed Chloe to have a good time because I know she wants to do anything to make sure that I'm okay. But because her migraines are so debilitating, I don't know if it's the best time for me to talk to her. KK, it's me. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to, I'm not going to bug you for long. Can I get you anything? I don't want to further aggravate her, so I guess I'm just going to have to find a better time to apologize, but at least she'll know that I'm here for her if she needs me. Take care of yourself if you need me. I love you too. I have my phone in the other room, so if you need me, just text me. I can't look at my phone. Okay. We'll give you a minute. I'll just come back and check on you in like 15, 20? Yeah. Okay. Malik, will you see the channel? Because I have to be watching these. It's part of my job. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here pressing the button for PC. It's not working. Like, we just have no picture at all. This is literally, like, the worst. Can I occupy your brain with something else for a second? Okay. Yeah, I need to. So what's the deal with this uh, ski trip? What, our family trip? Yeah, well, it's family and friends now, because I'm going. I mean, we're supposed to be going to Montana, but it's not, mm -hmm. like, signed and sealed yet, because we're just waiting on court. That would be so nice if she came. We haven't hung out with her in the longest, I feel like. OK, so court's a maybe, but who else is going? Um, Kim, Jonathan. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite. Um, Kylie and a pal. Kendall's coming? No, because uh, she's going to be in Paris. Okay. I've never skied before. 
Can't wait to fall on my ass. You've never skied before? Never. Oh my God. I can make a mean snowball, but that's about it. Will you teach me? No, probably not. Oh, so you don't know what you're doing either? I do, but I had teachers growing up. Like, I had someone teach me. I wouldn't trust my friend telling me what to do. I guess I should stop listening to you altogether. Just like if I was a doctor and I'm like, oh my God, I need stitches. I'm not gonna say, Malika, I'm gonna tell you what to do. Do it on me. No, I'm gonna go to another doctor. You, you just to took this to a school. whole nother level. I'm not going to teach you how to ski. You could kill yourself. Do you know how many people die from running into trees? We'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll keep me out of harm's way. That'll make me very happy. <laughs>